In this real quick video guide, I want to show you how you can export from Marmoset Toolbag in Unity your 3D models with textures and everything else. So you first need to download and install Unity. This is a totally free application. And you also need Marmoset. So you either coming from Marmoset, you want to move into Unity or all the way around, but uh, you will find all the information about downloading and installing Unity in the official website or also if you want you can search for videos in our youtube channel here and i also want to suggest you another really cool application which is called armor paint and it's basically the free version of um, substance or um, marmoset so they, they do all the same thing but armor paint is for free well also substance it's kind of free you could give a look also to this one just search for substance download install and there you go so you can find many other videos in our channel so please subscribe and stay tuned also for other videos now for unity users well marmoset is basically a tool that will let you create a lot of interesting materials and uh, textures so you can create really detailed um characters for example but also objects and scenes and you you cannot model with marmoset so if you want to model an example of a 3d modeling tool could be well if you want something simple let's just get here to the playlist in the video courses here you will find for example matbox which is for sculpting and painting in 3d and if you want something more advanced you have like 3ds max or cinema 4d now for Marmoset users who don't, don't know what Unity is, Unity is basically a um, level design application, um, game development application. You can create entire video games, you can create levels, you can create interactive simulation. So basically you cannot model here, but you can bring your models. And of course, if you have also really nice materials, baked textures, all that stuff, that's going to look uh, great instead of kind of uh, flat and boring. So this is why you probably are looking for uh, Marmoset if you are already using Unity. Okay, now enough with this introduction. So basically download, install everything. Once you're ready, you can open up Marmoset. And this is the library that, uh, sorry, this scene called Animated Fox that you can find in window library and if you open up this panel, you go to scenes and the, the first one, it's called animated Fox. So you can double click, download it. And once it's finished to download, you can open it up. Now, this is really basic for guys who would use uh, Marmoset. But again, for the ones that are coming from Unity, that's uh, basically it. If you want, you can check a video guide about downloading, installing and getting started with Marmoset as well. Okay, so this is the model I want to export. Now, to export from Marmoset, once we had a really useful uh, tool that is not more in this version of uh, Marmoset. So in the previous version, we had here from file export, we already had Unity package. So what is a Unity package? Well, it's nothing so fancy. Basically, it's just a package where you get, where you uh, uh, found everything inside, like testers and materials, and the objects, and so on. But we can still do the same thing, but using just FBX. So we go here and say model file. So we are exporting a model, and we can choose what we want to export. Now, if you want to export everything, you just select everything here and say export. Now it's going to ask you for a folder. And I already did the export on this folder here. And what it exported was a file here, FBX file. This is my geometry and the assets. So I add here materials, meshes, skies, and so on. Now, one problem I encountered, but I think it's because this is a sample scene from Marmoset. It's not my scene. I didn't model this. I didn't create the textures or anything. So everything comes from Marmoset. And I think this is why in the moment of exporting, I didn't have the textures 
in this folder, I have to get this from a particular directory that I will show you. So if I close this here, uh, if I finish the export and go to Unity, okay, now you can see everything is, looks nice, but I show you how it, it should look when you, exp when you import it here. So here you go. Well, let's do it again. So I want to go back here, try to go back to the previous stage where I didn't have this fox. There you go. Okay, now I don't have it. And but I still have the, the, the things here in my content browser, so I will delete them. Now this is the package that you're gonna import. I will delete this and re-import it with you. And you can see here I have imported the textures, but let me delete this as well. Okay, so I have Fox color and Fox normal. Okay, now I will go to, to import, I will go to asset, import new asset, and there's my Fox there, and say import. There you go, so I have this package here, kind of a, like a Unity package, and then I have everything displayed uh, autonomously, so I can just bring, for example, the Fox inside, and you can see it's looking like it doesn't have materials at all. So if I select, so that's the basic 3D object. Now if I select this one here, this is the old scene with the fox. Now I want to bring this a little bit up, do a little bit of zoom. Okay, now this doesn't look purplish because it actually has a material here, which is called Dota 2, but it doesn't have textures. So this is a problem, again, be, I think because it's a scene from Marmoset. So if it was your model, you shouldn't have a problem. Well, so if it is your scene, you probably know where you store your texture. If it is a, a sample scene from Marmoset, you go to Program Data and you have to go uh, to search for the Marmoset Toolback Folder, Library, and Scenes, Animated Fox, Contents, Assets, Textures, and they, there they are. So I will just copy these two and place it somewhere that I can find it. And in my case, I will uh, I have created a folder for this uh, exported file in my, I think, FBX. No, uh, sorry about that. Marmoset. Yeah, that's my folder here. So I just copy and paste these materials here. Right click, paste. Now, once I do that, I take this and I just bring them, sorry, into Unity directly from the folder into my content browser. And that's all I have to do, as you can see, because basically it already knows that my material is there, but it's just missing the textures. So this should solve the problem. If this doesn't solve the problem, what you can still do is just create a new material in Unity and assign those textures. But I, I think if you are a Unity user, there's no problem in doing that as well. So this is all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.